Alright, so here we're going to make a uh, curtain wall wall with um, curtain wall doors in it. So I've got four walls of a building here and I'm going to select that wall and change it to uh, exterior glazing. Exterior glazing comes in with panels of glass but no mullions. So I'm going to select the whole curtain wall. Actually, I'm going to go to the Architecture tab, select Curtain Wall Mullions, all grid lines, and then click on the wall. And it gives the wall all mullions where there were just uh, seams between the glass panels. Okay, this curtain wall, if you click on it and go over to Edit Type, shows you that it's 1830 by 4000. That's the spacing of the mullions. 1830 is a nice six foot opening for a double door, but 4,000 is way too high, so we need to put another mullion across there for the height of a door. So I'm going to pick curtain grid. We need a grid first, one segment. I'm going to go halfway there and click. Now I'm going to give that grid line a mullion. There we go. So now I have um, the glass panel is the size of what a door would be. I need to get rid of the mullion at the bottom so that you don't have to step over something. So I'm going to select it and delete. Now I need to load a curtain wall door into the file. So you just go to Door, Load Family, into the Door folder. And I want um, a curtain wall double glass door, like that. Say Open. Don't worry that it doesn't show up in the properties. It's not a regular door, so it's not going to be placed using the door tool. Okay, I need to select this piece of glass where I want the door to go. And I, I'm holding on to the glass panel and the mullions right now, so I'm going to filter out mullions. So I'm holding on to just one curtain wall panel. With it selected, I go over to the properties and see that it's a system panel glazed and I can just switch it now to the double glass door because I loaded that and now I have a curtain wall with a double glass door